Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offerman with the Airstream DMX video manuals. In the last video I talked about making just a very simple scene by choosing one color, but let's go ahead and check out some of the effects that you can do or the color effects you can do with this. So we're going to go back again to our fixtures. We want to make sure that these are both highlighted, unless I want to control just one of my lights. But in this case I want to be able to grab both of them. So we'll grab that. Now on the channels, you can leave this as it is uh, because the effects are going to override it. But just for craps and giggles, actually I will leave it like it is. But just make sure that your dimmer is all the way up. Now we're going to go ahead and go into our effects. And we are going to click on edit the effects. Oops. We're going to go into our effects and we're going to click on shape effects. Now this is for moving head, so we're going to skip that and go straight into color. And you'll see that if I hit run, it does a very basic color chase. Now I can speed this up, I can bring it down, and you'll see that the preview on the iPad pretty much shows me what the Wi-Fi itself is, or the Wi-Fi QA5 is doing. Uh, I can also have a loop, I can have it bounce, there's a few different options, that you, or a couple different options rather, that you can do. If you want to minimize it down, let's say we just want to bring purple all the way to red with a nice purple in between. We'll just bring that down. Or as I can just have it bounce. And that would actually look really good for these three colors here. So it's going blue to red, back to green, blue, red. So it has that little bounce to it, or we can just loop it. So you'll see there's a little bit of a difference there within the colors. Now right now this is the only effects type that's available for colors. I'm sure more will be coming. But once you find a color range that you like, I just want to do, actually I want to do green to blue. And maybe I'm partial, but those are the four schools only colors. I'm going to save effects. Now we're going to go into color effects and we're going to choose an effect type. Well, actually the effect type's already chosen, excuse me. We're going to type in the name. And that is going to be, for, we're going to call it 4SO. Four, ah, S, O. And we're going to hit save. The effect has been saved. Now at this point, I can assign that to a scene, doing the same thing that I did before. So there's a scene there, right? If I shut that off and I go into my effects, it won't be on by itself. See? Because the dimmer, there's no dimmer channel in this one. So I can just hit this one and then I can override it with the effects. Or I can make it its own scene. So again, to recap, this right here all gets overwritten by the effects. But the effects does not have dimmer, strobe, anything like that. It only sees the RGB values. So for the dimmer to be on, you have to make it into a scene. So in this case, we're just actually going to show off the purple. We have our effects on. We're going to bring our dimmer all the way up. There it is right there. And now we're going to our scenes and now we're going to assign it. So again, same thing. We're going to call and there it is, 4SO. Now when I go to the purple one, it's instantaneous. Now when I click on 4SO, it slowly fades in. Notice it didn't have a snap like it did to the purple. See? Nice smooth fade. Now I'm going to click on the purple static. And bam. So you may notice that when I go from purple static to four schools only, the 4SO, those two stay lit up. But when I click back on purple static, it doesn't, uh, or it automatically shuts itself off. And really the reason is because these can be stacked but they're in LTP, latest takes priority. So the easiest way to explain it is when I add to the 4SO, or when I, you know, the 4SO, that scene can add on to the purple static, meaning that, hey, this has movement, this has changing faders, great. So you can add on to it, and if I shut it back off, then it goes back to purple static. So I'm gonna go and shut purple static off for a second. I'm gonna shut off 4SO, I'm gonna turn 4SO on. But now when I go to purple static, it's not like that can really add on to anything else. That just completely overwrites that scene, so it's going to overwrite it and shut it off. If you don't want to mess with that at all, 
you could just hit the solo button. See right here on the upper right hand side? I hit solo so it's red. And now you can only click one button at a time. Uh, I like DMX, so to say. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Good night and God bless.